This is the study or sitting room, which today contains a number of historic items of furniture and portraits of myself around the walls. It also contains this corner chair here, which brings back memories to me of the very last open-air sermon I preached. It was on that chair, on top of a table, underneath an ash tree in Winchelsea in Sussex. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, I preached. Repent and believe in the gospel. And I believe most of those who heard were, at least for the present, persuaded almost to be Christians. The original fireplace in the corner here would have warmed this room in the very depth of winter if we had brought up enough coal to do so. It would have warmed this room, though not of course my bedroom, unless we opened this door here. And that would have allowed sufficient heat to penetrate into the depths before I went to bed. But coming through the other door into the bedroom, you can see the bed on which I slept whenever I came to Bristol. This is an extraordinary survivor from those days, this simple four-poster bed, rope-strung canvas, only one step removed from a hammock. And indeed, you would need to tighten the ropes before you climbed into the bed. And if anyone's ever said to you, sleep tight, before you went to bed, it was beds such as these which were the origin of the phrase. Now underneath the window here is this sloping ledge. And this has served as a desk for me. And not a desk for sitting at, but a desk for standing at to work. For I'm convinced that it is not good for the health to sit down for too long. And so it is here that I have stood for many hours working or reading. And over the years, I have absent-mindedly worn away with my foot the ledge beneath. No doubt while I've been struggling, pondering over the 15th sermon for that week. <laughs>